If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're here for the first time, do subscribe to the channel and do press the bell icon on the YouTube app and you will never miss any new videos that we release. This video again is not simple science, but in a way it talks about the science of what goes behind when we design products, even if they're as mundane as a public dustbin. The other day I met someone and we got talking about various things and one of the topic was beach cleaning and then dustbins. The topic was not strange because the person I was with heads a company in Goa which handles a lot of the beach activities for the government. We realized that there are a lot of issues with the current dustbins on the beach all over the place. The prime one being most dustbins are not designed for the beach. There were dogs and cats and even sometimes cows who would topple the bins to get the food waste. These bins topple easily because they are narrow at the base when they should actually be wider. But then plastic molding requires objects to be tapered narrow at the closed ends. For example, buckets, mugs, glasses, most plastic products, the bigger ones. So in this case, the process of production goes against the design fundamentals of the usage. Sometimes even the wind topples these small bottom dustbins. Another problem is it's very difficult to tell which ones are recycling and which one are for organics. If you have wet food paper wrapper, does it go into wet waste or dry waste? While you think about that, the next problem is the lid. If it's open, then flies, birds, etc. all over the top. If it's closed, then people don't want to touch it. And they throw the waste all around the bin instead of inside the bin. Another problem is the plastic bag that is generally wrapped over the bin and sometimes it slips and falls inside too. Almost all the bins in India are made from the molds that are bought from abroad or replicated without much thinking except from the point of saving money. So since our food is different with curries and other such characterful items, the inside of the bin starts collecting all the waste juices which escape from the bag and start rotting over time. These give the ugly smells that you smell when you pass garbage collection of any scale starting from a waste bin. Also most of the plastic bins start degrading in the sunlight because of the UV and last only a year or two before becoming brittle and start breaking. I could go on and on but these are the main points anyway. But most importantly dustbins are ugly and nameless. No one loves them, no one cares for them and you look at them only if you're looking for them. Now let me show you what we made, what we designed and produced keeping all of the above in mind. Presenting the art bins. We fabricated this frame, powder coated it for durability but I know the metal is not the best choice for a beach but there was hardly any time so this was the best and fastest way to do it. In fact if you have better suggestions please put them in the comments below. We use polycarbonate sheets for the surface because they are strong and virtually unbreakable. We printed directly on the sheets with UV proof printing and supposedly it's going to last very long. How long we'll find out in a few years and it is fairly scratch resistant. In terms of the design templates currently we made only two templates for organic waste and for recyclable waste within which the art can be anything. It could be photos, directional signage, illustrations, messaging, anything that you want. The frames in transit or storage are stacked like this. It takes literally three minutes to assemble a whole bin with some detailing like hooks on the inside for plastic bags so that the bag doesn't have to be wrapped outside. But then you have a choice now. There is a hook under the cap as well and that's to hang an air freshener in case you want it. That's high hopes. The cap opens and shuts. So how are the art bins designed and ready for the beach? These spokes go into the sand and then the bin cannot be toppled easily by winds or animals. The base is anyway as wide as the top so there is enough stability there. So you have to open the lid, put the bag in, hook it up to these hooks, shut the lid but the bin is still accessible even when the lid is shut. My amazing team in Goa worked for weeks to make these bins happen from design to prototyping to production. We call it art bins because we print art on it which currently because of lack of time we had to buy stock images from the net but later we hope to enthuse artists from all over Goa and India and the world even since this is Goa to send the art and put it on the bins or just make these bins in your part of the world we haven't copyrighted it so you're free to use it anyway. With this kind of thought process a simple public dustbin has now become a good looking and informative product to behold which can create a community around it of artists and people who become conscious about waste and recycling. It looks amazing as a lamp also. 